Your years of experience mean absolutely nothing. Hey everyone, Derek Van Shake here. Yes, your years of experience doesn't mean anything. What does mean a ton is what have you been doing in those years to further your knowledge. You know, there's so many people that you know, when they seek jobs, they immediately say, well, I have you know, X number of years of experience. I have 10 years of experience. I have 15 years of experience, right? It doesn't mean anything. What does mean the most is what have you been doing in those 10 years, 15 years, whichever, that has furthered your knowledge. You know, what have you been doing? What books have you read? What, what conferences have you gone to? What degrees have you, have you completed? What courses have you taken? Um, that's really the most important, right? The number of years of experience, especially in corporate America, it just doesn't mean anything because, because what people in large corporations are trained to do is just do one single thing really, really well. They're kind of like uh, wrench twisting monkeys, right? They're able to do that one thing really well and everything else, yeah, they, they, they just don't really touch. They, so they do one aspect of a project. But, you know, in order to really have broad knowledge on a topic, on your industry, um, in your chosen field, you need to seek external knowledge. You can't just rely on what you learn on the job. So keep that in mind. Um, you know, so when, when, so when you ask somebody, oh, well, okay, 10 years of experience, fine. You know, what have you done? What have you learned um, in those 10 years? You know, what, have, what information did you seek? You know, and someone would naturally say, oh, well, I completed my, my master's degree or, you know, I completed an MBA or something like that. You know, and then you kind of could almost like ask them, okay, what else have you done? You know, you complete your MBA um, or a master's degree or, or you, you know, finish your bachelor's degree. What is that? That's just a few years. That's just a few, a few years out of how many years? That's like three years out of, say, 10 years of, of, um, of uh, said experience. That's not a lot. So you're saying three years you, you were learning and then seven of those years, you just kind of coasted. Seven years and just coasting and not really learning and not really seeking knowledge, not reading books and not going to conferences and not uh, following up on, on um, you know, industry standards and you know, be on the cutting edge of your industry? Really? Right? So you don't want to be one of them because there's so many of those, right? And you also don't want to hire those people because there's so many of them. Right, that just know how to do that, that one thing really well. You don't want that. Um, you don't want to be that, and you don't want to hire that. So, you know, again, when I hire in my personal companies and the companies that I manage, it's something I ask. You know, what have you done to seek external knowledge? You know, what what did you seek? You know, and what knowledge did you obtain? Right, that's critical. It's absolutely critical. Okay, um, so definitely have that in mind. Definitely always have the idea that you have to, you must seek more knowledge and you can't rely on just, you know, you doing your job as being the main qualifier to continue your work um, and, you know, and, and to get paid as much as you may want to get paid. Because keep in mind, the amount of money that you're gonna get, the amount of pay that you're gonna receive will be in correlation to how much you know. Because the more you know, the more you can help. The more customers you can help, the more money you're gonna make, right? So it's all related. It's all related to knowing things and learning, right? So, so critical, so important. Always be a continuous learner one of the most important qualities you can ever, ever have. Thanks for watching everyone. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. 
Also, subscribe, comment, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snap, and I'll see you next video. Take care.